hello everyone welcome to the laravel advanced feature today in this video i'm going to explain that how you can limit your user request in the laravel application so we are in the laravel 9 and there is a uh, documentation about define rate limiter so how you can define your rate limiting of the users how many times in a minute user can hit your endpoint right so basically uh, this is uh, for mostly used for apis so you can also use it for the uploads audios videos and stuff like that right so now i'm i have a default installation of the laravel and here i'm in the api.php file which contain a middleware and a user uh, and a user route right so here if you, uh, i go here in my application so let me type this uh, api slash user which is a default api route so it's going to direct me again back on this so login page because i'm not logged in we are in the apis so let me remove this uh, middleware i don't want to redirect this again on the login page so now let's visit again api user okay so now it's going to this uh, api slash no it's returned back again uh, no now it's opening the api slash user route right so now there is no user that's why it's returning empty right so now how we can limit our user and by default uh, how much limit is set on this route so now how you can check this out so this limit is stored in the service provider so we are in the interacting with the route so that's why we need to play with, around with this route so there are provider array a provider directory and in the provider directory there are a service a route service provider so here there is a method uh, for this uh, configure rate limiting and this one is a protected method which is defined here so this one is basically responsible for limiting our user request so by default it's, it's set on the api and uh, it's a uh, uh, checking that uh, there are user can send uh, 60 uh, requests per minute so i'm going to rename this with the 30 and uh, then i'm going to uh, uh, i'm going to show you that how it's going to block the user request right so i'm going to made my first request i give it a refresh uh, okay first request is passed now i'm going to refresh it again i refreshed it again okay and yes second request is paused then i refreshed it again and the third request is also paused and then now i'm going to refresh it uh, fourth time so it's going to block my request because i'm uh, allow only uh, this will allow only for three times at a minute so i uh, refresh it again so now it's throwing that too many requests right it's throw a four to nine error so now question arises that it's not too much descriptive so how you can make this descriptive so basically we are going to customize this message so you can even customize it from here so now let's uh, go here and uh, there is also uh, for customization right so we need to add the response and then this uh, response will be returned back so i'm going to remove this uh, by method from here and then here i'm going to add the response okay and in the response i need to call this closure here and here i'm going to return response okay and in the response i'm going to return the custom response so uh, you are allow to send only three requests to per minute okay and then you need to type here uh, your status code so 429 and then you need to specify here headers so first you need to accept the header property here so i'm not going to pass this to a request right so save this one and give it a refresh and check that what we are going to return so it's uh, accessing this because our one minute is paused so i'm going to refresh it again and it's going to i'm going to change this status okay now it's going to block our user request and uh, return our custom response right okay so wait for a moment to complete this process 
okay so now it's returning you are allowed to send only three requests per minute so it means that we successfully changed our response from the from this route service provider so now question arises that we don't want to change it here we want to change this in the blade files how we can do this so let me roll back again here i'm going to throw here 429 error which is throwing default okay so now save this one and give it a refresh it's going to throw the 429 error so how you can uh, get it split so there are uh, error pages uh, by default uh, coming from the laravel so how you can publish them so by default they are hidden so now let's go to the terminal and here you need to type a command okay php artisan vendor publish and it will publish all of our all of our assets okay php artisan vendor publish okay let me correct the spelling of uh, oops uh, vendor okay and then i need to add the flag of publish it's going to uh, show all of the all of the resources i'm going to choose here laravel error so it's a uh, tag name is 18 so let's enter on it and it will publish these uh, errors into our into our resources directory so let's go to the resources directory in the resources there is a views and there is also uh, errors is added and this one is now responsible 429 is responsible for rate limiting right so here you can customize your title your code and your request too many request on uh, um, too many request so please uh, wait for a moment okay save this one and now let me uh, refresh it again and again and then this will be limit this user and it's going to return our this 429 page right okay so let's wait for a moment to complete this process uh, okay too many requests and with the custom message too many requests so please wait for a moment right so you can also change uh, this code and this title which is uh, adding, added at the top right so hope you get an idea that how you can customize this 429 plane right so now let's go here and uh, here you can also specify it for the file uploads right so there is one more thing you can apply it for the if you are uh, if the, uh, you can specify the users so if your uh, user is a super user or super admin so you can uh, uh, set the limit none so it means that you don't want to block the administrator request to, if the administrator, uh, administrator is sending the request to multiple multiple times you don't want to uh, don't want to prevent the don't want to stop the user request right so now limit is none so if i go here and refresh it to uh, two three four five six seven eight so it's not going to um, block my request right because i applied here request to none so you can uh, apply this condition based on the condition like if the user is a administrator so you can block the user request otherwise you don't want to block this request right so there are one uh, one more thing you can request to uh, you can also check that uh, how many requests are coming from and you can block its ip and stuff like that so you can also apply it on the login so hope you get an idea that how you can apply it on it so if you like this video please subscribe to the youtube channel and stay connected bye bye